So that's the reason that is called Dais 2 system. What is that? Dais 2 system. So here, from the organs, what comes over? Organ systems. What is that? Organ systems. Cell, from the cell to a numerous cells, a numerous cells to organs, organs to organ system. So, when these are all the organ systems are formed, for example, respiratory system, reproductive system, circulatory system, uh, nervous system, days to system. So, these all systems are gathered together and form a body. What is that? Body. Body means not that body. That body has life. The body has life. Is it right? It means, body means life. This life comes out. What is the origin? What is the basic unit of this life? What is the basic unit of this life? That is cell. Is it right? If there is no cell, there is no body. Means there is no life. If there is no cell, no cells. If there is no cells, there is no organs. If there is no organs, no organ system. If there is no organ system, there is no body. The body, the body, basic unit, it starts from, the body, where it starts, it starts from a, a small dot-like structure that is called cell. So, for the body, the basic unit is called cell. So, that's the reason cell is the basic unit of our life. Cell is the basic unit of our life. So, for this life, the basic unit, what is that? Cell. So, that is, that is the reason our title is cell is the basic unit of our life. Our life. Okay now? Next. So, our yacht is a beautiful place. Our yacht is a beautiful plant. Is it right? So many living organisms are live on this planet. Our yacht is a beautiful place. Our yacht is a beautiful place. So, from the small living organism to huge animals or from the minute, minute mosses means notch mukka. From the minute mosses to huge coniferous means there are very tall trees. From the small minute mosses notch huge coniferous big tall trees. Likewise, invisible bacteria too use whales, blue whales. Blue whales means very biggest animal, very biggest animal in the water. Invisible bacteria too, a huge blue whale. Plus all the living organisms basically need. What is that? Do you know? That is cell. That is cell. Even though that is big living thing or small living thing, whatever it may be, or a small plant or big plant, whatever it may be, for all these living organisms, basic unit that is called cell. That is called cell. That is called cell. Three fifteen years ago, maybe in that time, the microscope was not invented by the scientists. So, when the microscope was not invented, they don't know. People who are not aware of the living world that was not visible to our naked eye. Because if during that time, 
with 350 years ago the scientists were not find out the not invented the microscope so that's the reason in our surrounding also one another world is there an another world that is not possible to see through our naked eye that is not possible to see through our naked eye that is possible to see through only microscope what is that microscope do you know that world name microbial world what is that microbial world so so many scientists were invented different types of microscopes when the, when the, the scientists have invented microscope then only we came to know there is a another world which is surrounded us that is called microbial world do you know are you able to see microorganism with our naked eye no 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 so that is possible to see through only microscope so our earth is a beautiful place our earth is a beautiful planet is it right so many living organisms are live on this planet our earth is a beautiful place our earth is beautiful place so from the small living organism to huge animals are from the minute minute mosses means notch mukka from the minute mosses to huge coniferous means there are very tall trees from the small minute mosses notch huge coniferous big tall trees likewise a visible invisible bacteria see invisible or visible invisible bacteria to use whales blue whales blue whales means the biggest animal the biggest animal in the water invisible bacteria to use blue whale these are all the living organisms are basic unit is all for this all the living organisms basic unit what is that do you know that is cell that is cell even though that is big living thing or small living thing whatever it may be or a small plant or big plant whatever it may be for all these living organisms basic unit that is called cell that is called Cell. That is called cell. Three fifteen years ago, maybe in that time, the microscope was not invented by the scientists. So, when the microscope was not invented, they don't know. People who are not aware of the living world that was not visible to our naked eye, because if during that time, three three fifty years ago, the scientists were not find out the not invented the microscope. So that's the reason in our surrounding also one another world is there. on another world that is not possible to see through our naked eye that is not possible to see through our naked eye that is possible to see through only microscope what is that microscope
Do you know that word name? Microbial world. What is that? Microbial world. So, so many scientists were invented different types of microscopes. When, they, when the, the scientists have invented microscope, then only we came to know there is a another world which is surrounded us that is called microbial world. So many scientists are there. So many scientists are there. They all are invented microscope and they are doing research on find out different types of microorganisms. Different types of microorganisms. Who are they? Look at the board. So, some of the scientists, some of the scientists were observing and describing unknown world with the help of microscopes. Some of the scientists, they are observing, they were observing and describing unknown world with the help of microscopes. Who are they? Who are they? They are, they are Athanasius Kretcher, Athanasius Kretcher, 1601-1680, the period. Next, John Swamadam, John Swamadam, 1637-1680. Next, Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek. Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek, 1632-1723 and also Robert Hooke, Robert Hooke, 1635-1792, this is the period, the work, this is the period. These are all the scientists, they were invented microscope and they find out they find out unknown world with the help of microscope. With the help of microscope. So because of them only, because of them only, the microbial world came to exist. Is it right? The microbial world came to exist. Everybody knows there is another world which is surrounded by us. That is called microbial world. Because of this scientists. Because of this scientists. Who are they? Athanasius, Richard, Juan Swamadam, and Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek, and Robert Hooke. These are the important scientists. Uh, so, they are invented by microscope and they did some of the work on unknown work. Okay? All living organisms, all living organisms carry out certain basic functions. What are they? Do you know? Respiration, reproduction, Circulation, excretion, these all are the basic functions. They are carried out by this all the living organisms. What are the functions are? Takes place in our body. Respiration, circulation, reproduction. Is it right? These all the functions are carried out by different organs. In our body, in our body, so many functions are going well. These are all the functions are carried out by different organs. Different organs. These all the functions, different set of organs are performed specific functions. These are all the organs. Do you know what is the basic unit of these all the organs? Already I explained in the previous class, already explained. Is it right? What is the basic unit for this all the organs? Cell. What is that? Cell. If you want to know the clear cut study about cell, if you want to know, first you should know about the proper use of microscope and you should prepare the slide also. What is that? You should prepare the slide also. So, proper use of microscope and 
preparation of a microscopic slide. So this is essential for doing. This is essential for knowing the structure of cell. Okay, now next discovery of the cell. What is that? Discovery of the cell. Who discovered the cell? For first time, who discovered the cell? Do you know the scientist's name? The scientist's name is Robert Hooke. In the year of 1665, Robert Hooke. In the year of 1665, he is a British scientist. He is a British scientist. See, look at the boy, Robert Hooke. In the year of 1665. He is a British scientist. He is a British scientist. Actually, where did he find out? Where did he find out? He found the cell in oak tree. What is that? Oak tree. For the oak tree, from the oak tree, he take out the. Take out the bark. Means that is dried one. That is dried one. So that bark is also called as cork. Is that cork? He found the dead cells in the oak tree bark. That oak tree bark is also called as cork. What is that? Cork. So when he observed, actually. How he observed this bark? He prepared one microscope. He prepared one microscope. He made himself a microscope. He made himself a microscope. With the help of that microscope, he took a bark tree, a bark sorry, oak tree bark, oak tree bark, and put it under the microscope, and he observed that. And he observed that. Then, when he observed that part of the oak tree, he found something. What is that? Actually, when he observed, it resembles the part. What he is seeing, the part through the microscope that resembles honeycomb structure. How it is appear? The part how is it appear when he is seeing through the microscope? It's appear like a honeycomb structure. Honeycomb structure means like this. See, honeycomb structure. When you observe that the the part, it appears like a honeycomb structure. In the honeycomb structure, there are empty spaces. There are some empty spaces. You see, now inside nothing is there. Inside nothing is there. So many empty spaces are there. We found that empty spaces, empty spaces. That empty space is also called as a small cavity. A small cavity, Kali Pradesh. So, so many empty spaces are found in that uh, oak tree bark. Oak tree bark. So immediately he he gave the name for the cavities. He gave the name for the what is that for the cavities. What is the name? Do you know? Cell. He called the cavities as a cell. He called the cavities as a cell. Cell. It is a Latin word. Cell. It is a Latin word. So. The, in the Latin word, the cell mean. In the Latin word, the cell mean a little room. What is that? Cell is a Latin word. It means a little room. So, the kind of room so many you find out. So many you find out in the uh, bar. In the bar. Cell means little room in a Latin. In a Latin. C 
cell means little room it is a latin word it is a latin word so when you see the structure with the help of microscope the part how it is appear it is appear like a honeycomb structures in the honeycomb structures we found out there so many cavities or so many empty spaces each empty space is called as a cell okay so that's the reason the cell was the cell was first discovered by robert cook robert in the year of 1665 he is a british scientist where did you find out you find out the oak tree bark the oak tree bark is also called as cork cork okay thank you thank you of this cell in the year 1665 A British scientist named Robert Hooke discovered a cell. He developed a compound microscope by using two lenses in order to achieve greater magnification. He studied a thin piece of cork, soft bark from oak tree under his microscope. From the microscope, he observed that the cork piece looked similar to the structure of honeycomb with many empty spaces. or empty box like structures he thought that these empty spaces are made up of very small cavities he called these cavities as cell this was for the first time to be observed that living things consist of separate units called cell in latin the word cell refers to little room now let us try to see what robert hooke may observe in the oak tree cork is it right is it possible to see what robert hooke saw in the bark of oak tree that is called cork that is called cork yes it is possible but we will not get if you want to do the same experiment we will not get oak tree is it right we will not get oak tree so instead of that we have to use another apparatus another object that is matchstick that is matchstick so with the help of this matchstick what robert hook saw in the car that one we have to see with this matchstick also this is similar experiment of robert hook this is similar experiment of robert hooke so what is the process what is the process first we have to take one matchstick we have to take one matchstick like this we have to take one matchstick and this matchstick keep it in the water means soak it at least half an hour so it half an hour so this matchstick now soaking how much time half an hour after half an hour we have to take this take out this matchstick then take one sharp blade one sharp blade so we have to cut this we have to cut this matchstick with the help of sharp blade with the help of sharp blade see how many pieces are comes out see so many pieces so many see so among these pieces we have to take very thin piece very thin piece among the all the pieces we have to take very thin piece means palachaga unde tovanti pora very thin piece we have to choose it for doing this experiment then this piece we have to keep it on the slide keep it on the slide okay now then put a water drop put a water drop on this object then we have to keep this slide under the microscope but now and now microscope is not available so this slide 
we have to keep under the microscope now i kept in the microscope now i am seeing now i am seeing do you know when i saw when i when, when i am seeing this slide with the help of microscope the same structure which robert hook found we will also see we will also see what he found he found that he found that so many empty spaces so many empty spaces just like a honeycomb structure honeycomb structure so many empty spaces robert hook also saw with the help of bark tree cork he is also found out, found the same structure like as honeycomb structure so now when we are seeing with mastic we will also found the same structure same structure okay now so it look like a honeycomb in the honeycomb there are some small chambers or cavities this all the each one chamber inside nothing is there each one if you observe inside the cell nothing is there is it right why inside the cell nothing is there it is why it is empty do you know it is a dead cell each cavity what we call cell each cavity cell inside the cell nothing inside the cell nothing means empty why it is empty because it is a dead cell is it have life no 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 is it talking no so that's the reason this, this is a dead cell this is a dead cell uh, is it possible to see living cells is it possible to see living cells yes that is also possible so in the next class we will see the living cells we will see the living cells with a practical man with a practical man okay na until then here let us take a match stick and soak it in water for half an hour next with the help of a blade or a knife cut the match stick into thin pieces choose a thin piece and place it on a slide next put a drop of water on the slide and cover it with a cover slip now place the slide under a microscope and observe it it is observed that the cells of the match stick under a microscope are similar to the cells of the cork of an oak tree as we have observed previously from this experiment we have learned that the cells of a match stick and the cork of an oak tree are similar this is because both the cells of cork and match stick are dead cells the discovery of cell by robert hook was a milestone in the history of science